Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday of Easter 2, and our prayer today is Responsive Prayer 2 on page 285 in the Lutheran Service Book. 285. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Word of God that we will begin with today is a prayer of Jonah that he prayed while he was inside the great fish. Chapter 2, verse 2. I called out to the Lord. Out of my distress, and he answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. For you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the flood surrounded me. All your waves and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight. Yet I shall again look upon your holy temple. The waters closed in over me to take my life. The deep surrounded me. Weeds were wrapped around my head. At the roots of the mountains, I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. When my life was fainting away, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came to you into your holy temple. Those who pay regard to vain idols forsake their hope and steadfast love. But I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will pay. Salvation belongs to the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the New Testament reading is from Matthew chapter 12 referring to Jonah. Some of the scribes and the Pharisees answered saying, teacher, we want to see a sign from you. But Jesus answered and said to them, an evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign and no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah, was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Perhaps many suffering from the effects of this virus all over the world will resonate to the words of Jonah, feeling engulfed as he was in, this, in the sight of this fish from which he could not escape. Weeds were wrapped around my head, waters closed over me. This is a very vivid description of someone who feels overwhelmed by their circumstances. Yet at the very end, we hear the ringing statement of faith, salvation belongs to the Lord. And when we speak of the Lord and salvation, we remember the words of Jesus who said that as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so the Son of Man be three nights and three days in the heart of the earth. There is no feeling of being overwhelmed, no feeling of sorrow, no feeling of being bereft and abandoned that you and I may feel that Jesus has not felt as well. As he cried out, my God, my God, quoting from Psalm 22 as he hung on the cross, why have you forsaken me? Jesus knew what it meant to be engulfed by the consequences of evil. 
In Jonah's case, it was his disobedience that caused him to be thrown into the water and uh, swallowed by the fish. Our evil, our guilt, our sin could swallow us up, as indeed death and the grave could swallow us up. But there is, as Jonah said, salvation in the Lord. With a voice of thanksgiving, I will sacrifice to you. Even though he was closed up in this fish, he says, when my life was fainting away, I remember the Lord and my prayer came to you into your holy temple. Don't hesitate to express to God in prayer how you feel at this time or any time when you are engulfed by the circumstances around you and you feel like you're going down for the third time and drowning in it. Don't hesitate to cry out to God as did Jonah and as did our Lord Jesus Christ. For salvation belongs to the Lord. Jesus, by his suffering and death, accomplished for us the escape from sin and death that we need. And when he rose from the dead, death itself was forever defeated. So nothing can conquer us. No circumstances, however grave they may feel at the time, can change the fact that salvation belongs to the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our prayers continue on page 285 at the bottom with the Kyrie. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. And let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you. For you answer me. Hide your face from my sins. And blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me with the willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help. And in the shadow of your wings, I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. Let us pray. O Lord, absolve your people from their offenses, that from the bonds of our sins, which by reason of our frailty we have brought upon ourselves, we may be delivered by your bountiful goodness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, 
one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We sing as our closing hymn, 473 in the Lutheran service book, our Paschal Lamb that sets us free, 473. A paschal lamb that sets us free is sacrificed, O keep the feast of freedom gallantly, let alleluia's leap. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia again. Sing Alleluia, cry aloud, Alleluia, Amen. Let all our lives now celebrate the feast, let malice die. Let love grow strong, anew and great, let triumph and love lie. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia again. Sing Alleluia, cry aloud, Alleluia, Amen. Let all our deeds unanimous confess him as our Lord. Who by the Spirit lives in us, the Father's living word. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia again. Sing alleluia, cry aloud, alleluia, amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.